and that's really cool about 4d gel is not going to dry until you are going to cure it so it mean if you feel like your paddle is like oh my god it's not enough then you can go back and get some more or if you feel like oh my god the the bit is too big so you can able to like reduce um the 40 gels and get a smaller size i'm gonna do three paddles first one part will last you probably forever as long as you keep the part is really nice and close do not get it direct to the sun don't open it when you are getting amount of your 40 gels is you need it enough then close the leaves first and then you can go back and get more if you need but don't let it sitting there under the sunlight and any others like i'm gonna do one so i have a dark nude and my nails get the cuticle oil anyway one two move it up a little bit and three let's put it like um triangle okay and then give it a good pressure and i am going ahead and using this And I have the alcohols right on my side here. The reason that I needed it just in case of the my um, tip of my silicones. Getting is a little bit of the um, residues in there. I'm going to clean it right away to make sure that the tip of it is going to clean. So I'm going to go ahead and using this is already designed the angle for you. So you press it down. and release i'm gonna press this right in the centers and press and twist at the same time and you will never go wrong with this it's going to be so easy and simple and i'm gonna move on to the next paddle press it in the middle center and press it on the side do the same thing with this press it down thanks so much everyone for tuning in if I miss any comment, don't hesitate to DM us. I'd be so happy to, to help you out. And I'm going to do, it's really cool because you don't have to worry about it's not going to be perfect. I am going to do three petals at the same time and then I make sure that I will get them perfect before I cure if you feel like you need to adjusting them you can do so this one I'm gonna do a big big like roses two layer All right, get a little bit far here. Do not worry, just pick it up. And so now, so now if you are afraid of to get a chance to get messed up, do not worry, then you are going to flash cure this beauty for like 20 seconds, okay? Now, moving on. We're gonna pick another layer, which is in this layer, so we're gonna get the bit is a little bit smaller than the first layer. You can see that it's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna do three. You can do two or three. Stay pan. And then I'm gonna do one tiny little one for the center. You can use it as the crystal on it if you want to. 
If you don't want crystal on it, you can use in your 4D gel. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and... One. So the second beads, the second layer, we're gonna put right in the middle of the two um, petal, the joys of the two petal. And then I'll do this one. If you don't work on your nails, it's going to be even so much better and faster, easier. And then on your clients now, because you don't have to keep picking at the nails like I'm getting this swatch. All right. So one, two, three is they are right in the middle. When how you know it's right in the middle of this, the joys of the two petals. So now you're going to press it down. Get a little bit fur on my tips. I'm going to clean that the tips of my... 3d dual brush and then press it in the middle like press it down on the left press on the right spread it make it like a half moon look same thing with this petal and that's one same thing There you go. Oh my god, I'm loving this one though. Super cute. You can do another layer. Should we stop here? Oh, we can do another layer. I'm gonna show like and one more and then we can put so option you can do crystal in the middle. Or I'm going to show you how to close your roses, okay? One. And you can get this one layer on the top of this. Now you're going to get to the part, the last one. We are going to close the rose. Lighting. and then put it right in the center and then connecting getting a little bit and connecting this one with the last petal it's really simple though I have a hard time when I was learning with this and then now I know how I can able to get it so I can show you really really good in details you see that how you get the center and you're connecting one end of the last bit to yours um to your petals and then now you can adjust 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 and it's important don't go aggressive with this really really easy and then just really gentle with this it will go really nicely for you okay here you go Flash here seconds. for 30 seconds. That's it. You can do more. Should we do like some leaves on that? You can do some leaf and then some crystal placement or bows or however you would like. I'm getting some like smaller beads. I'm gonna need this one. Adding like couple beads I mean couple cute smaller beads okay hey hey I promise when you're doing it yourself or your clients it's gonna be so much better because you don't have to pick up this like nails oh, I stick on my nails
and do the next one. All right. So we are going to do the same open with little furs on the tip of my 40 gels brush. Press down. And then this one I press down. And you're gonna do the same thing, press down and then on the left and on the right. And then it depends on how small, how big your petals, I mean your leaf is. This is so much fun to do. And then remember, don't have to go aggressive. You see that how I press it down, it's just really gentle. Don't need to get really aggressive with this because it will do all the work for you already. Okay. Same thing with this beauty, press down. And because the designs that we did it for the tip of the 40 door and brush it will when you press it down it give you enough so you can't go press more than that unless you keep going back and forth because then you'll make your your um 40 gels thinner which you don't need it you want to get a little bit texture on press down you can even doing with a lot of like details smaller it one add more roses the same thing you can just repeat the same step i show you and then add like some cuties here if you want to if not then you are good to go flash here and then we can add some crystal on get some crystal from the starter kits add just a little bit on and some beads oh i got the beads right there i can even put the bees on it see bee going to the flowers This bee is gonna look good. You think? Oh, let me do some bees on it. So why not? So, for a lot of questions, ask me how I using the what I use to add all the crystals and um, charm and chains on it. I'm using a crystal glitz crystal trifecta, and with just the three step methods, which is the condensed glue gel, no web top coat, and precision glue gel. So I'm gonna use this two beauty first. And to adhere the crystals, remove all of this one on this side. Condensed glue gels. I'm go ahead and apply this with like a half part of it. If you want to get some beads, some colors of beads on anything else, you can have it. Make sure that it's had it's ready for you. And then I'm go ahead and add just little 
of crystal um of condensed glue gel here so i'm gonna add some maybe beads on ones right there and then we're doing the top coat floating right on the top little top here and a little top here so between the top coat and condensed glue gels your crystal your charm and your chain and your beads will not go anywhere so float the top coat right on the top of the condensed glue gel so give it it's really cool and it's not going to um pull off your condensed glue gel so it's keep your condensed glue gel stay nice underneath of the top coat so both condensed glue gels and no wipe top coat will grab your crystals in one place so you can add more beads as you prefer it is so cute or you can put crystal however you would like okay How about your clients? The bee is going to be like, wait a minute, I'm coming. I'm using this gorgeous, a beautiful crystal from the Valentine starter kits. I'm going to put some beads on right next to the B. The big crystal. I have smaller, I have smaller heart right there. I'll do smaller heart. That's it. Oh my gosh. You can add so much more if you want to. It's up to you. And this nail, I would suggest to price the clients at $25 per nail, if not more. To be fair for you and to be fair for your clients. It takes you time of your skills and then also your products to create this look if the clients don't want uh, to get thicker or chan for four they want to really like is the sculpting art so yes definitely can use it with 40 gels is a great thing this is for a lot of state that is so cold weathers and you're having a hard time control your liquid and powder because it's so wet and so cold and also that you have to wait for the ratios of the powder set in a certain you know um as um standards before you can sculpting it the 40 gel will always back you up so you won't have to worry about the room temperatures or the weather is too wet i mean too hot too cold so then you can able to do design so here i am go ahead and cure for 60 seconds 